What is going on everyone? My name is Under the Radar and welcome back to the PGL Team Builders. Now this game is so freaking important. First off, I want to apologize if you can hear my fan rolling. Um, it is hot as balls in this room. And I don't like being hot as balls. I like uh, I like being cold. I'd rather have the temperature at 60 degrees year round in my house, but whatever. That's You guys don't care what I prefer. But this game is extremely important. If you watched last week's game you know that we will spoiler alert i'll give you two seconds to tab out if you don't want to know you will know that we lost that game 1-0 because of two or three separate 50 50s that i could have made to win the game so that kind of sucks i was really down about it after the game i was really down about it for a couple days um but it's monday i'm recording this I'm supposed to battle dokes who i'm facing and I'm supposed to face him at two or whenever he was free it's three o'clock it's not that big of a deal um but facing the sergeant of dokes shad dokes whatever you whatever you know him by i don't really give a shit what you know him by he's a good buddy of mine i really really enjoy the man's content so before i even get into the team builder go check out his channel go subscribe to him go make sure you show him love he just made a very big uh discussion about how showdown tubers don't get the love that they deserve he is one main example of that because he is right up there in my opinion with like the competitiveness and the skill and the knowledge of the game with mv joey ctc all these other big names that everybody knows of dokes is right up there with him and i really think that you all should go check him out show him some love for me but in draft format i have to beat him that's what we care about right now so let's just go ahead and uh take a look at his team shall we his team let me pull it up there we go his team is landers therian scissor dragonite gyarados mega charizard x galvantula quagsire dugdrio zatu tangela mega galilee and shuckle first thing you'll notice is that he has two megas the reason why is because mega charizard x is an s rank mega when you have an s rank mega you have to take a c rank mega or lower um to like balance that out and that's just the way that works but looking at the rest of his team he has a lot of four times weaknesses i mean a lot of them it's so whatever i used to think the four times weaknesses were absolutely terrible but you know i don't really think it's that bad as i've been playing because it makes berries more viable as i know from watching dokes he likes his berries he likes his setup he is a very hyper offensive player i don't think he'll be bringing many if any walls to this game because i have sent kind of a hyper offensive team that matches up well against him so like uh bulky lando t bulky scissor uh bulky zardex quagsire zatu tangela shuckle they can all be bulky in some shape or form and mega gyarados if he's like intimidate with uh, thunder wave but i don't think a lot of them will be coming as bulky um any of his first five I could see coming, and all of his first five I could see coming. I'm really scared of the Dragonite. Uh, Galvantula I could see coming because if he gets webs up on my side of the field, well, Galvantula or Shuckle, just because webs really hurt my team because a lot of it is grounded. But I kind of sort of played it to where I don't outspeed a lot of his team at plus one anyway because he has a lot of things that can get to plus one. Uh, Lando can get to plus two with Rock Polish. Scissor can get to plus two with Agility. Dragonite can get to plus one with Dragon Dance, so he can Gyarados. And Megazard X. Um, and I think that's everything. Like his first five moms can all get to plus one or plus two speed. So I kind of sort of made my team okay to handle that instead of uh, worrying about my speed tiers. So then looking at his bulk, his hazard removal is down to Zatu with Defog or Magic Bounce and Scizor. If he wants to bring Defog Scizor, then that means that he won't be like set up three attacks set up roost two attacks like it just severely hurts the chances of scissor being a serious offensive threat however scissor is coming to this game 110 percent positive about it so let's go ahead and actually take a little look at the team that i built for him because i'm actually <laughs> really really happy with this team so the first mon that i'm bringing is something that he said in the chat before that he is very scared of I know he's very scared of it, that's why I'm bringing it, to make him more scared of it when he sees it, and then I can kind of sort of force him the way I want him to be uh, played the rest of the game, but I'm bringing Sylveon. Sylveon with a Berry Berry, Hidden Power, Fire, Hyper Voice, Wish, and Baton Pass. This thing is there to punch a couple of holes in his team. 
uh, I can live a good number of hits. I can live things from Scizor because of the Babiri Berry. I can live a Bullet Punch even if it's Choice Banded Adamant. And I can hit him with a Hidden Power of Fire and it does a shit ton of damage, which is really cool. Uh, Hyper Voice to Megazard X does about 50% with the investment I have. I made sure I can uh, 2 it KO uh, some invest in Megazard X. However, I don't think he will be bringing some invest. I think we bring in Jolly Max Speed. So he can speed tie with a Choice Scarf Victini at plus one. But generally, it just hits his team extremely hard going down the list. Uh, I made sure I can two hit KO the majority of his team. I can two hit KO Lando T, I believe, with my investment. Uh, Dragonite, I can two hit KO even through multi scale. Uh, Gyarados, I can if he's not invested. Uh, Megazard X, I can. Galvantula, I can. Quagsire, I think it's a roll if he's Spadef. Uh, Doug Trio. Zatu, Tangle, Mega Glalie, Shuckle. Everything can be 2 hit KO'd on his team with this set, and Scizor can be 2 hit KO'd by uh, Hidden Power of Fire if he wants to switch into it. I'm hoping I'll also be able to bluff, um, like, an Expert Belt or something, or an Assault Vest, because I don't really think I'll be going for a Wish or anything like that. I think I'm just going to be spamming Hyper Voice, Hidden Power of Fire. So if I can make him think I'm something that I'm not, that'd be pretty cool. But this thing just overall destroys so much of his team. Now, the Babiri Berry is actually really interesting. Because if I can take out Scizor, that's his only defogger really aside from Zatu. And if I can get rid of his Zatu, that means rocks are up on his side of the field to stay. And if you look, he has three things right in a row that don't like coming in on rocks between Dragonite, Gyarados, and Megazard X. Hate coming in on rocks. So if I can get rocks up, it will severely weaken a lot of his team. Then add in the fact that he has weaknesses in Galvantula and uh, Zatu and Mega Glalie. So. Rocks are really good against this team. I need to make sure I keep them up no matter what. Um, the Babiri Berry is also there because I really think that he'll be bringing like Iron Head or Iron Tail Dragonite because at plus two, he still can't Oko me with an Earthquake if I'm like defensive Sylveon. So I definitely think he'll be bringing like Iron Head or Iron Tail on that thing specifically for Sylveon. So if I'm able to go for a Hyper Voice and kill it, that'd be really cool. But the next Mon on the team that I will be going over is my biggest win condition this entire game. No matter what anybody says, this is my biggest win condition, and that is my Victini. I'm bringing a Shookaberry Victini. I'm bringing two berries. Actually, I'm bringing three, but um, Victini with a Shookaberry, 188 in speed, 236 in HP, and 84 in special attack. With this special attack investment, I'm able to 2 hit KO everything on his team. Uh, I'm not able to Oko anything i mean if i can oko anything i can oko with this investment um lando t i can oko with glaciate scissor i can oko with blue flare dragonite if, if he comes in on rocks i can oko with glaciate uh gyarados i can oko with thunderbolt megazard x if he comes in on rocks before he mega evolves i can two it kill him with glaciate uh galvantula oko with blue flare quagsire i can two it kill with uh energy ball Doug Trio Energy Ball, Zatu Blue Flare, or Thunderbolt, both of them just absolutely destroy it. Uh, Tangela Mega Glalie, I can 2 hit KO both of them, or Oko them, depending on their investments with the Tangela, but I can Oko them with Blue Flare. The only thing I cannot <laughs> Oko or 2 hit KO is Shuckle. So, if I can get his team weakened, I can basically sweep through everything on his team. And that means that I'm ha gonna have to take a couple of hits, which is a little bit scary for me because I can't take some hits. I can't take an Earthquake from Lando T. I can't take a plus one Earthquake from Megazard X. I can't take a plus one Outrage from um, Dragonite. There's a lot I can't take. So I put the Shookberry on there. So I can take it. I can kill them directly back and force them out or destroy them. So I really like the way this set specifically works. I'm able to outspeed everything on a scene that is not Megazard X or Galvantula. Uh, I didn't want to run max speed because I knew I would need to run um, some special attack investment. And there's really no need for me to speed tie with a Mega Charizard X. It's just not really worth it. Because if he comes in on rocks, he'll be at 50%. Um, I can run a Scarfer to do 50%. I can run bulky things to roar them out or something like that. So I can really deal with them that way, and that's pretty cool. But this set destroys his team. He thinks that he doesn't have a switch into Sylveon. He doesn't have a switch into Victini. That's the real scare for him. 
So that's why I'm kind of using uh, <laughs> Sylveon as like a like a Thane to let him know that hey, you have to worry about this thing. Hoping you won't really recognize that Victini is the real threat. Focus on the Sylveon, and then I'll be able to blow him back with Victini. Hopefully. The next Mon on the team that I knew I needed was my <laughs> Vaporeon. I'm bringing a Wakanberry Vaporeon for a couple different reasons that I will go into here in a couple minutes. So I'm uh, running 172 in HP, 252 in defense, 68 in special attack, 4 in special defense, and 12 in speed. So, 12 in speed is to speed creep his speed creeps with things that he might need to. Um, actually, I don't even think I need it because nothing on his team comes close to this, but you know, just I'd rather be I'd rather have it than be safe than sorry. Um, Scizor is base 65, and I'm base 65, so I can outspeed uninvested Scizor. That's what it was. Um, 252 in defense with a bold nature and 172 in HP guarantees that I cannot be too hit KO'd by a plethora of things like uh, plus one Dragon Claw for Megazard X, um, Lando T's Earthquake, Scizor's Bug Bite, Gyarados's Earthquake, uh, this thing is just fat and doesn't die on his team. And the Wakanberry is very special because uh, Dokes mentioned to me that he has a counter for a certain mod in the format, and that is Special Dragonite. And I got to thinking, I was like, okay, hold on one second, let, let, let me take a look at this real quick. Sylveon, if he's running Special Dragonite, he can take it on pretty well. It's fat enough to where I can take a couple hits and scare out the Hyper Voice. Um, but quite literally everything else on my team, if he runs the coverage of like Ice Beam and Thunderbolt and like Surf, he can do a lot of damage to my team. So that's why I have the Wakanberry. I can live a Thunderbolt, I can go for the Ice Beam, and I can do a lot of damage to it. I'm hoping to have Stealth Rocks up so it'll, it'll completely Oko it with the uh, 68 special attack EVs that I have, and it'll completely destroy its entire life. Now, Roar is something that I actually had there. I actually had Haze over Roar. Um, Haze is Haze was there just to haze away uh, mega, regular Gyarados's uh, sub dragon dances because I fully expect sub dragon dance Gyarados this game. Um, however, I started to realize that I'm not able to break a sub with Scald or Ice Beam for that matter. So I was like, you know, Roar is just the best option overall. When you look at his team, he has. Uh, Lando, Scizor, Dragonite, Gyarados, Megazard X. They can all set up in my face. Not all of them on Vaporeon, but they can do it. And that means if I'm able to roar him out, that means I'll be taking 25% on entry from rocks, and then another 25% after I roar him out. He cannot 2 kill me with anything, even at plus 1, and that's really cool. Um, but it just works out really well against his team, and I really like it. Um, Ice Beam does about... 40% to make his X because base 110 special attack on a wall is awesome. I love it. And it just, it, it's overall very good for his team. Plus, getting some Skull Burns will be pretty nice. Hopefully. Because, you know, Vaporeon and my Skull Burns work out so well together. So, the next month on the team is going to be my Rock Setter for this game. It's going to be <laughs> my Gligar. Uh, Stealth Rock, Roost, Defog, Earthquake. Um. Yeah. It sucks not being able to touch Gyarados or Dragonite. I wanted Toxic on this thing somewhere. But at the same time, I really want Earthquake. Um, actually, on the graphics, I mean, I'm pretty sure I had Stealth Rock, Roost, Toxic, and Earthquake. I took Toxic off, put Defog on there, and I'm thinking about taking off Earthquake and putting Defog on there. Earthquake was there originally to hit Megazard X because it can do about 45% to it. And after one layer of one uh, hit of rocks, it can Oko in. However, if it comes down to it to where his uh, Gyarados isn't sub, I could Toxic it, and that could really help me wear it down and gaining its leftovers. I could Toxic the Dragonite, pop its Lum. There's like a lot that I could do to it. So I might be changing Earthquake for Toxic. I'm not completely sure yet. Um, toxic was a massive part of this prep, but. Overall, I think with Roar on Vaporeon for the sub DD Gyarados, I think I can keep Earthquake on there because even if I switch out into my Vaporeon and he goes for a Dragon Dance with his Gyarados or a sub, I can roar it out right there and it's not that big of a deal. 
But anyway, physically defensive. I can take hits from Scizor, Lando, Megazard X, uh, Galvantula that doesn't have HP Ice, so I can do a lot of damage to it with Earthquake. Uh, there's just a plethora of things on this team that this is really good for. Um, Stealth Rocks. I think it's kind of good that I'm bringing Stealth Rocks on this thing instead of Jirachi because um, I can kind of sort of scare out a Zatu with knockoff if he thinks I have it, but I don't really think Zatu will be coming in this game. I have two insanely hard hitting dark types that prevent Zatu from coming. I really don't think it's coming. So I'll be getting rocks up turn one no matter what. That's my goal. This is my designated lead to get up rocks right away. I need to get the chip damage off on this team with rocks. So that's that. The next mons on the team are kind of sort of not really the memes, but the my win conditions. 110% my win conditions. First up, Rotom Mo. Choice Scarf Rotom Mo with 224 in speed, 252 special attack, 28 HP, and 4 in defense with Volt Switch, Hidden Power, Fire, Leaf Storm, and Foul Play. We'll talk about the last minute here in a couple minutes. Um, Volt Switch is generally good. I can scare out the uh, Gyarados, and I will outspeed it, even if he's Jolly plus 1. So that's really good. I can Oko with Volt Switch, which is really nice. I can make his ground immunity. Well, his electric immunity in Lando, I can just blow it back with two Leaf Storms. And that's really cool. Uh, hidden Fire Fires are just for Scizor, because if he, if it's last mom this versus Scizor, I want to be able to hit it very hard with uh, Hidden Fire Fire. And uh, Bug Bite cannot uh, Oko me unless he's like Technician Choice Banded Adamant, I think. I think that's what it was. Now, Foul Play. Let's talk a little bit about Foul Play. He has... Dragonite, Gyarados, and Megazard. If he brings Swords Dance, Megazard X, brings Dragon Dance, uh, Dragon Dance, Gyarados, and Dragon Dance, um, Dragonite, I'm able to hit them very hard with foul play. If he is at plus one with He's at plus one with his Charizard. I can foul play him and it does 57%, I think. And this outspeeds an adamant Megazard that isn't running max speed. So if he like, if he's like, well, I just want to run Dragon Dance, outspeed everything, and hurt everything, because he realizes that Victini can't one-shot it anyway. I can outspeed it and I can hit it with a foul play, it'll do a shit ton of damage, and that's awesome. Same thing with Gyarados and uh Dragonite. It also does a very good chunk of chunk of damage to the Scizor if I want to be able to hit it very hard on the switch in. If I find out that his drag, uh, his uh, Charizard is the switch into this thing because it resists both stabs and the hidden power of fire that I want to run, I can go for Leaf Storm and I can 2-it KO it on the switch in, especially if he uh, takes rock damage, I Oko him, and that's really cool. Very nice Rotomo set right here. I think it's probably one of the most key sets on this entire team. I think it'll put in the most work because it'll gain me momentum. I don't have a whole lot of U-Turn or Baton Pass on this team. I just have Sylveon and my Rotom so far. And it just really puts in a lot of work on this team. The final Mon that I'm going over is the Peace de Resistance. Darkrai. Darkrai, I don't want to say it's put in a lot of work, but it's not performed poorly. I actually need to make sure that I outspeed something. Give me one quick second. Okay, so what you guys see on your screen is the incorrect EVs that I'm going to be running on this Dark Eye. I'm still running Modest, but I'm going to be running Max Speed, Max Special Attack with Foreign Defense. Reason I'm running Max Speed. So I can outspeed Timid, Max Speed, um, Galvantula, Underwebs. So that's really important. I'm running Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Dark Pulse, and Incinerate. The coverage that hits so much of his team for four times super effective damage that it is insane. Um, yes, this thing does get incinerate. I think it's better than running in bar fire because I don't lose out on anything on the EVs. And I could burn a couple berries if he wants to switch into something on this. You know, because he does like his Lum DD uh, Gyarados. He's ran that a couple times. But uh, I think it'll work out pretty well. I like this. I like this set. And I don't really think there's anything too extraneous to say about this thing. It outspeeds everything on his team that is not, um, that is not Gyarados at plus two, Dragonite at plus two, Lando at plus two, Scizor at plus two, and it does not outspeed Dugtrio. 
I knew there was something I was forgetting. But outspeed a lot of his team. A lot of his team. And I really think that this works out well just because it can hit so hard. So much of his team. Like, Choice Scarf Dark Pulse Modest does like 50% to Mega Zardex. So that's really cool. Ice Beam and Thunderbolt to his sweepers just do so much damage. And then Incinerate is an easy to hit KO on his uh, Scizor. If it has gotten low and it doesn't have Roost or something like that, does a lot of damage to it. But pretty self explanatory. I love this team. I put in a lot of effort into this team. We're battling like four days early, which is really cool. So, yep, that's basically the team. Let me know what you guys think of the team. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. Also, go check out Dokes' channel. He's an awesome dude, an awesome content creator. Probably one of my favorites to watch. So I strongly urge you all to go check him out. But with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.